Can you name a disaster we absolutely could not prevent? What about massive environmental events over which we have no control? Join me, Elan Kelman, for this next episode of The Science of Disasters. Subscribe now and watch all the episodes in this series. Despite the maxim that disasters are not natural, exceptions do exist. Many environmental phenomena are nearly impossible for us to prevent, while reducing planetary-wide vulnerability to them is not likely to be feasible. Known threats in astronomy include supernovae, which are the spectacular death rows of certain types of stars, as well as sudden radiation flares from other objects such as neutron stars. Our planet encounters serious trouble from such hazards perhaps every several hundred million years on average. Averages do not help us if it happens tomorrow. Nonetheless, the chance of a radiation flare or supernova within killing distance of the Earth is almost nil in the near future. We are getting to know the stellar environment around us in detail without seeing any obvious imminent dangers at the moment. Although if I'm wrong, then perhaps no one will be left to tell me. Away from space, while the Earth's magnetic field aids in sheltering us from radiation blistering through space, it too can form a hazard. For over three billion years, this field has been driven by molten rock circulating deep within the Earth, with its intensity and direction constantly shifting. The field reverses polarity completely every million years or so, with the reversal taking centuries or millennia to complete. The most recent flip? That was just over three quarters of a million years ago, although smaller shifts occurred since then, most recently 41,000 years ago. These changes long predate modern reliance on satellites, wireless communications, and electronic devices leaving us vulnerable now to the planet's magnetic field changes, as with space weather. Another potentially unstoppable hazard that tests our capacity for curtailing vulnerabilities around the planet is large-scale volcanism. Flood basalts ooze lava dozens of meters deep from fissures tens of kilometers long. The Siberian Traps flood basalt erupted approximately 250 million years ago covering millions of square kilometers. Such flood basalt eruptions occurred around the time there were mass extinctions across the planet, and they might have been a cause. Individual supervolcanic eruptions can also knock the global climate into a different trajectory. Ash injected high into the atmosphere spreads out, encircles the globe, and for years reduces sunlight reaching the Earth's surface. About 74,000 years ago, the skies above what is now Lake Toba in Sumatra, Indonesia, darkened. Thunderous roars rolled over land and sea, and pressure waves dissipated around the world. The biggest known volcanic eruption in the past two and a half million years burst upon our ancestors. A near extinction of the human species around at the time was initially attributed to global cooling caused by this eruption. But subsequent studies did not find evidence that the super eruption either produced a prolonged volcanic winter or posed a major threat to humanity. Bigger supervolcanic eruption could bring both, meaning that we are fortunate that one has not happened recently. Ice is another global hazard. Many ice ages have come and gone, driven by variations of the Earth moving in its orbit. Kilometer-high glaciers bore down on and later melted from places that now house megacities. Any ice age today would force millions to flee as homes disappeared under the white masses. From exploding stars and meteorite strikes to ice ages and volcanic madness, planet-wide vulnerability is ever-present and cannot be eliminated. The human species could be threatened by large-scale environmental events and processes. Some may seem fanciful, but they all provide realistic scenarios and have happened in the past. Little scope exists to reduce vulnerability extensively to many of these hazards, even with ample warning, and even giving us a chance to tackle such hazards. These might truly be called natural disasters. Will the Thames barrier be enough to save London from a flood disaster waiting to happen? Join me, Elan Kelman, 
next time to find out. Don't forget to subscribe and watch all the episodes in this series. Hit the bell button to hear when new downloads are available.